everybody, Tractor Ben. Gonna take a look this morning at the Deutz Far 6130 TTV. 126 horsepower, four cylinder, turbocharged with the TTV transmission. Infinite speed up to, this one's like 28 miles per hour or something like that. Four wheel drive, four wheel hydraulic brakes as is standard on all Deutz tractors, 80 horsepower and larger that are brought into the country. High definition headlights. This tractor of the 6130 has a fixed front axle on it. 6140s come with a suspended front axle. A little bit of a difference there. A neat feature about your loader, there are actually several with the Stoll FC30 loader. One handle, quick attaching with flat face couplers to take off your hydraulics and your built-in third function kit. The Stoll FC30 also features comfort ride. It's an amazing, amazing thing. So when you're running down the road and you got your comfort ride turned on here, there's a series of accumulators right here underneath these cross members. And it allows for your lift cylinders here to take up a little bit of slack. It's a very nominal amount, but it cushions the ride. And you'll notice that your loader moves just a little bit instead of reverbing that back into the tractor. It's pretty standard on all the stole loaders that come on the Deutsch Far tractors, but it's very unique in that not a lot of manufacturers offer something like Comfort Ride, especially as a standard feature. Battery box down here. Removable toolbox that you unstrap, take with you, and go wherever you're going. Very nice handy feature. You can clearly enter and egress on the right side with the TTV model. Moving around back, we have a litany of hydraulic connections, four sets of remotes. You've got a high pressure line. You've got to be a power beyond line, a return to tank line, a couple of different electrical connections. Um, very quickly can update, upfit these tractors um, with a series of different monitors for different applications, just depending on what you're doing. Have a four speed PTO. The 540, the 540E, the 1000, and the 1000E. It also comes with the 21 spline 1000 RPM output shaft that is changeable in just a couple of minutes. Nice big swing and draw bar with hammer strap. Telescopic two point end links. Sorry, category two end links. Up here you've got your uh, your fender mounted hydraulic controls to help you with hooking and unhooking. The old safety beacon up top, options for two. Moving on around, we get to the left side. We have our fuel and our AdBlue tank. It's a very small AdBlue tank. These tractors don't use much of it, but if you like AdBlue, thank a politician. If you don't like AdBlue, thank a politician. We don't see it as being a huge factor um, it hasn't been thus far, and there are some of these tractors out there already that have five, six, eight thousand hours on them. So it just depends on, like largely with everything, how you take care of it. Why don't we move into the cab? So as we climb up the steps here, you got your observation slash buddy seat. See a nice big area here. Still leave the plastic on until the customer buys one up here on the ceiling you have the sunroof you have the mirrors which i found handy pulling a baler you don't have to look behind you and stare at your pickup you can actually glance up in those mirrors and see the pickup just fine you got a main power shutoff switch here you have a built-in sunshade that you can change to height or if it's that time of day and you just need a little nap and then when you're ready to fold it up fold her up and get on down the road plenty of storage Got one storage compartment here, another small storage back here. Heating and air vents all over your simple AC controls up here. A nice Kenwood sound system. Most all of your lights are controlled right there with the exception of a few of the cab lights and wiper control for the rear up here. Front wiper control, turn signal, horn, all that on that switch. Here's a look at the TTV yoke, and you can change what your settings are um, for your hydraulics. 
when I'm bailing, I set this one up for my tailgate. I set this one up for my pickup. You have a lot you can change and move around. You have a tilting and telescoping wheel along with the dash pod moves with the tractor wheel. So no matter where you move the wheel, you can still see gray. And now we'll shut the door and see how quiet the 6130 is. All of your Deutz cab tractors feature a low decibel cab. Just for instance, I'm gonna keep talking in a normal tone in here, and I'm gonna accelerate the tractor on up. And you can clearly see the RPM, and that's as loud as it gets in here. Very, very quiet. Uh, these also come, in addition to that Kenwood sound, they have Bluetooth. Talked many an hour on that Bluetooth. Not on this one, but some of the others. But anyway, I digress. Hydraulic parking brake, etc. So just all in all, a really nice premium 130 horsepower tractor with many, many premium features at a great price. So if you're looking for something for hay, dairy, um, general mowing operation, take a look at the Deutz Far 6130 TTV. And there's also a power shift option that cost a little bit less. All right guys, so as we look underneath the hood, a uh, few quick things to note. These units use the power core air filter system. There's no cleaning of this. Basically pulls the air in on the right side. Get my little self through here. So it pulls the air in through those holes. Uses a vacuum pressure off of the variable speed fan on the engine to keep all of your heavy particulate matter that would be getting stuck in the front of your air filter, pulls it down and blows it out underneath the tractor using the fan. Then you got your power core unit and then there is a secondary finer particulate piece here. Very long lasting air filter system. Not a whole lot to it. Also, something of note here is when you get ready to clean you know your radiator air conditioning stuff your air conditioning components down here all come out on that slide out make it really easy to blow all the way through and also allows you to get to your intercooler which is behind it and then you have screens in front of the radiator which pull out on the right side a top and a bottom and then you can blow through everything with your air compressor to keep it all clean. As you can see, this unit has been in the field doing demo and there's, you know, a little, little bit of junk there as evident. And then you just slide her back in, lock that down. The service interval on these, 100 hours on your initial service, and then it's at the 600 hour mark under normal conditions that you change your engine oil again around the front of the tractor here without bumping my head. I'm ugly enough, don't need any help. Engine oil filter, right there, easy to get to. Look through that screen, you see your two fuel filters. There's one, there's two. This comes off, no tools, pulls up and moves out of the way, set it on the floor. Easy to service, easy to get to everything, long service intervals. What is not to love about that? So guys, in conclusion, just a nice tractor all around. Simple 126 horsepower uh, with a lot of refinement. If you're looking for something in that size, message me, come by and see me. Go see your local Dois Far dealer. Check us out online, continue to grow, continue to bring more models every year. Right now they're encompassing from 80 horsepower up to 340 horsepower but we most likely have a tractor that fits you thank you guys for watching and y'all have a great day